Howdy, Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Yochel say, Grohl, South Texas. Hey, folks, John, Practical Nurse here. So I got to ask, Johnny, I've seen that weird method that you use to reload your AK rifles. And would you mind going over that? Not at all. And by the way, what is your affection with the AK? Well, that's a really long story, okay? But let me just say this, folks. I was first introduced to the AK uh, platform of rifle when I served in the military. It was around 1984. And trust me, I never turned around and looked back. I just kept on rocking with it because I really like them. Now, personally, if y'all can handle a joke here, <clears throat> AKs remind me of country girls, okay? They're built solid. They don't fuss much about what you feed them, you know. They got a nice solid butt that you can grab onto. Now, the issues about it is it's a little bit they're kind of a little bit front end heavy but i kind of like that <laughs> all right so let me show you the methods folks that i have been shown the first one i showed when i was in military how to reload an ak rifle basically see the mags are already in there let's go ahead and rack that there's nothing in there it's all free and click of death you're out of ammo the first method i was the method i was shown was to basically hold the rifle like this okay take my mag out Put it in, my, in, in a pocket or a recovery or a dump pouch, okay? Retrieve another mag, okay? Put it in and either underneath or over the top bracket. Now, to me, the over the top seems a little bit difficult. Why? Because of my age, okay? Simply because of my age, y'all. Over 50, you know, <laughs> you get my point. Arthur has come creeping in. Now, let me show you another method. There was a, I was on the range and some 20-year-old came up to me and said, I want you to try my method. So again, so we have the rifle, okay, rifle, click of death, all right, recover a mag out of a pouch, it doesn't matter where you have it, he said squat it, insert it, all right, and again with the under or the over thing, okay, which I don't like that. Now, why is that? I've noticed that when I'm trying to hold it like that, in, uh, when I have my rifle exactly decked out the way I like it, uh, it starts putting a lot of pressure from here. To over here folks now again strictly because of age you guys that are 20 year olds and stuff like that you probably tolerate that a lot longer i can a lot of now one the method one thing that i like about that method is it can be extremely fast but let me show you mine let me pause for a second to recover my mag and we'll carry on with this okay folks so again let me show you my method here all right let me show you now everyone has their different ways and one thing i want to re reiterate to y'all is this is that there are lots of right ways, but the most right way that's most important is the one that works for you, okay? It's got to work for you. If you ever go to a place and they say there's only one way to do this, guess what? No, that's not true. The one absolute most correct way is what works for you and your body mechanics and what feels natural, okay? That's the right way to do it. So let me show you what I came up with. Okay, I have my rifle like this, folks, okay? Click, no bang. Click of death, okay? I leave this hand right here on the rifle. Okay, hello. Got a free hand here. And people said they say, no, no, that's right what you're taking. You know what? No, 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 no. Because I keep my mags right close by. All right, close by. All I do is just slightly rotate. All right, knock that one out. Pop it in and rack. And guess what? I'm ready to rock. Okay, so rack and rock that thing and rack and roll all you want. But again, okay, that's my method. Let me pause here, recover my mag, and show you that again. All right, here we go again, folks, okay? All right, click, click of death, no bang. Reach, grab my mag, all right, out of the pouch, slightly rotate, knock it out, lock that one in, and there it is. Now, since I started doing that method, let me see if I can re reconstruct this problem that I see a lot of people do. Um, since I started doing that method, I have not had any of these issues, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. Y'all know when it kind of ends up like that, okay? Let me see if I can reconstruct. It's hard for me to reconstruct it because once you start doing things right, it's kind of hard to do them wrong, isn't it? It's where it gets stuck like that, okay? All you do is just drop, look, just drop it out. Push push the lever forward. I've seen people struggle. Let me try to re re recreate that again, okay? Where it's not in there, like this, okay? Where it's not in there, okay? It's not in there. All you do is just grab a hold of the thing, push that lever forward, and mine will practically drop out. Maybe because of the way I... I do my rifles, but I don't no, know. No. But that's exactly what I do. Push that lever forward, they drop out. Since I started using the method of holding it, pulling it out of the pouch like this, curve, facing out, okay, like that, keeping it up on my shoulder with this hand right here, 
I have not had any issues, folks, at all with doing it that way. Make sense? All right, questions, comments, folks, leave them below. Until I see you all again, I'm John Practical Nurse. Give that method a try. See if it works for you, especially for us older folks, okay? Until I see you all again, I'm John Practical Nurse. Out here.